بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين معكم مشرفة اللغة الإنجليزية uh, Teaching Traveler 1 Module 4 Nowadays uh, Today we're going to take Module 4 uh, Lesson B Only time will tell uh, We're going to take the vocabulary part We're going to take the grammar part And hopefully inshallah the speaking part Now, in the previous uh, part, or the previous lesson, uh, we made predictions, uh, we made promises, we on-the-spot decisions and requests using the future. We also learned to refer to the future by using appropriate tenses to, uh, and with the time clauses. And we also express our opinion, okay? Now, in this module, in this part, we're going to make predictions about the future as well. Uh, plus, we're going to have some conversation, but I didn't put it in the module objectives because it's given, because it's, all of it is about the future. Now, this is the first part. The vocabulary part talks about certain uh, expressions with make. What is so special about make? You have many expressions when it comes to the verb make. Well, when you add another, for example, when you add would make you add nouns, the ch you change the whole meaning of make. So in order for you to choose the correct answer, you have to understand what does it mean this time, okay? I try to uh, collect as much information as I can, but if you have more um, words or expressions would make, maybe you won't find it in our book, but you, there are other expressions would make. You can of, of course go on, uh, online or find the a dictionary that talks about that but today we only going to take seven. Okay now I want you to focus on these words because I'm going to explain them and then we're going to explain the sentences and for us to choose uh, the correct word in each sentence. Okay the first one make mistakes. When you make a mistake you make a mistake it means you are you miscalculated or you made an error. Like when you write a paragraph or you write, for example, uh, a sentence or you answer a homework and you have a lot of errors or a lot of mista mistakes, it means you're making a mistake. Uh, sometimes when you, for example, choose different, uh, something that it's first th for the first time you chose something that you're not used to, you feel like you made a mistake. When you buy something, you don't feel, and you say it, I made a mistake. So when you miscalculate, it means that you made a mistake. Okay, this is number one. Number two, uh, make a decision. When you make a decision, I want you to think about the word after make. Decision means that you are going to decide. I decided, that's it. This is my decision. I decided that I'm going to stay today or I'm going to leave. Or I'm going to buy something. So when you make, a decision, it means you decide. Why do I connect the meaning with the word? Because sometimes you're going to be, you're going to have like, it's not going to be clear unless you have a sentence that show you. So be careful with that, okay? The third one, make plans. Now, I'm making plans for this weekend. It means I am going to do something this weekend. I am going to, for example, go shopping or, well, I don't advise you to do that nowadays, but I'm saying if you're making plans, it means you are having that plan in your mind and you're going to follow it. So you plan, you think ahead, something in the future, or you arrange to do something. You have, you've arranged to, to have like, um, I don't know, uh, to have to write, to clean the house, to, uh, for example, change the uh, furniture, to move uh, from one, for example, room to another. So you decide something, it means you're making a plan. Now, I like the, f the, f the fourth one, make sure. It's easy, I think it's easy because it's clear. You have the word sure. When you make sure, it means you are, do you think you're, you're not sure or you're sure, you're definite that something, for example, you know, you, you have to confirm. You are so, de you definitely know that something happened that you're making sure. Usually, make sure comes with um, different instructions. Like someone is going to ask you to clean the room or close the window or uh, to, to lock the door or take the keys out, for example, from the doorknob and so, so on. 
or for example, to, to turn off the gas or to clean the, I don't know, the, the, the side of the house that no one, for example, cleaned or, and so on. So when you have different instructions coming from your mother or your father or sometimes you're from your teacher, you have to make sure that you follow that instruction. So I made sure or I'm, I'm sure or I make sure it means that you are definite or you confirm that plan. Now, um, also you have the sixth, uh, fifth one, make money. I like this one because it has money, so you know the meaning. When I make the money, I don't make it like I, I, I manufacture it. I don't make it at home, but I make it as, when I mean that, I mean I profit or I gain. So when I make my money, it means that I worked, for example, to gain that money, or I made like... Uh, profit using for example a certain business or I work it's my job so I make money it means I profit or I have gained that money through so and so uh, make prediction prediction you are going to predict something in the future so you make prediction it means you predict or you guess like for example I want you to make prediction about your future, you're going to say, uh, maybe I will so and so, I will, and you give me, you know, your prediction, what you think will happen, your guess. So when I say make prediction, it means I want you to guess or predict what will happen in the future. Uh, the last one, the seventh one, an easy one, I think you, you don't have to think about this very hard because it's very clear. Make a phone call. You make a phone call. It means that last word, you call someone, or you phone someone, or you ring up someone. It means that you pick up the phone and you call them. So if I say I made a phone call last, uh, for example, um, week, or I'm, I'm making a phone call today, it means you're calling someone. Why did I take time to explain these words? Because we're going to have sentences, and they want you to choose the best expression with make in that sentence. Now, let's look at sentence number one. Ed never knows what he wants. He just can't about anything. So if he, ha he has no idea what he wants, what do you think is going to happen? Which, which make his, uh, expression is, is perfect for that sentence? He never knows what he wants. He just can't make a decision. He can't decide. He doesn't know. Okay, Okay. number two, I've already, for weekend, for the weekend, I'm going to visit my parents in Bath. Now, this is my, what do you think? I'm planning what is going to happen in the weekend. So, I, what do you think the word is the best choice here? You make, or here you have, I made plans. It means this is my plan for the weekend. And you have the word weekend that will help you figure out that word or that choice. Okay. I need to, to do what? To Sammy before we leave. We, we tend to do that most of the time. When we want to meet someone, you usually do what? To make sure that they are going to be there or they're not late. It's very clear. Okay. I need to make a phone call, of course. You call someone before you meet them to make sure that they are there. Okay, number four. You close the window before you leave the office. This is very important, not to leave the office with the window open because you will have like weather or dust or someone may, you know, enter that office. So it's something very important. You have to make what? You have to make sure. Yes, you have to make sure that you've done that. Okay, number five. It's not easy to about the weather. Now, now, if I ask you what will happen tomorrow, do you think it's going to rain? Is it going to shine? Are we going to have like, du you don't know, so can you make any predictions? It's hard. Okay, Robert, number six. Robert, when he speaks Italian. Now, usually when we speak other languages, like my First language is Arabic, when I speak English or Italian or Spanish. Most of the time, we make what? It's not full of, it's full of what? 
Yes, we make mistakes. Robert makes mistakes. Seven, Harry thinks he can without working. Now, what, what happens when you work? You have money. Now, here, he thinks that he's what? Going to, without working, he's going to make money. This is what other people, some people think. So, the first sentence, uh, the missing word is make a decision. Second one, made plans. Third one, make a telephone call. Four, make sure. Five, make predictions. Six, makes mistakes. Seven, make money. This is the answer for the first exercise, vocabulary part 4B, okay? Now, let's move to the grammar part. We talked about the future before. Uh, now we're going to take also the future, but we're going to take uh, not just uh, making promises that we said before, or uh, we're going to talk about certain meanings, other meanings. Now, when you use will for the prediction, you usually have certain uh, meaning or phrases. Like if you're in the bold, you have, for example, man will not fly for 50 years. This is the prediction in the future. Or television won't last because people will soon get tired of it. These sentences were in the reading. Now, when I say will not fly, I'm negating, I'm, giving, I'm using the negative. This is my f future in prediction. In the future, this will not happen. This is my prediction. Or here, if you want to use the same, the same uh, structure, but it's, uh, here you, you're making it like shorter, okay? This is an abbreviation. I'm making the will not a short form. You say won't. It's the same meaning, but here you have, you know, the short for version. Uh, television won't last because people will soon get tired of these two predictions were in the reading and this is something about the future these they express prediction this is what they th they think uh, will happen in the future these are the two sentences now this is what we used to when i say i will um, for example i think in 50 years i think we will have flying cars uh, we will have, um, for example, machine running uh, errors in our house. We will have digital homes. This is what I think. We will not have, for example, uh, electricity. We will have uh, different kind of technology. So I am making prediction in the future what will happen or not happen. Okay? Now, look at the second part. When I use will with have to and will, with able, a, uh, be able to. If I say, for example, here you have two examples. He says, which sentence means, which, which of these sentences below means in the verbs, uh, must or which one means will manage to, will be able to. Now, look at sentence one. Trevor finished this assignment so he will be able to go out tonight. Does it mean he must go out tonight? Or it means that he will be able to go out tonight, means that it will, he will manage, he can go out tonight. Okay, let's think about that. Sentence two, George gave me some money, but I will have to pay him back by Monday. I will have to. Does it mean I must pay him back? Or it means that I will be able or I, ma I will manage to give him back. Which one do you think? Now, when I say he will be able to, it means he will manage to. And when I say I will have to, I must. And I'm going to give you, I'm not, it's not a clue, but when you use the word have, like I have to, I will have to leave, it means I must leave. I don't have any choice. When I say able I am able, my ability, it means I can do that. It means I, uh, I will manage to do that. So I'm trying to connect the meaning to the word you have. So when you read it in a sentence, they ask you to, for example, to choose because we're going to do that in the following exercise. We're going to choose between will as a, a prediction, what will happen in the future. We're going to use uh, will have to as must or will be able to as we manage to. So you have to make the difference between them. Which one is a prediction about the future? 
which one is managed to, which one something that you must do, okay? Now, this is the exercise in your book. It's a dialogue. I'm going to read it all so it's easier for you to choose before I show you the answer or explain the answer. Now, we're going to complete the dialogues with will, won't. Will, if it's going to happen, it's a prediction. Won't, it will not happen. It's also a prediction, but in a negative form. Will have to, it means you, it must have, this is something that you think it must happen. Will be able to or won't be able to, negative and a positive means that you are able or you will manage to do it, okay? Number one, oh no, the lift isn't working. We use it. Then we take the stairs with all these heavy bags. I do it. This is the answer that I apply. Yes, you, I live on the second floor. All right then, this is the first conversation. Uh, the second one, what do you think about flying cars? Well, there be any in our lifetime, that's for sure. Why not? I don't think scientists create them soon. Anyway, they be too dangerous you think so? Yes. People drive them and there be accidents all the time. Maybe. You're right. Okay. Look at sentence one. If I say, oh no, the lift isn't working, we use it. Now I'm making, do you think I'm making a decision? I'm making a prediction. Uh, sorry, I'm making a prediction. I am uh, negating that I can't do it or I must do it, or I'm able to do it, or also negating the fact that I can do it. Yes, yes, we can't do it. We're not able to use it because it's broken, okay? It's, it's not working. So uh, the lift isn't working. We won't be able to use it. Then we take the stairs. Now, what do you think? Yes, we will have to. It's a must. Since it's not working, this is not a choice, we will have to use the stairs, okay? Third, uh, with all these heavy bags, I do it. It's something that you're going to negate it, so what do you think? Yes, I won't be able, I cannot do it. I'm not, my, I cannot, you know, carry that bag because they're heavy. Yes, you, what? I live on the second floor, so he's, it's not far away. So yes, you, you will. This is the future prediction. Okay. What do you think about flying cars? Now they're talking about prediction, flying cars. Well, there be any in our lifetime, that's for sure. He, I think he's not sure that this will happen, so there won't be any. He doesn't think, this is his prediction, he doesn't think any flying cars will be uh, seen in our lifetime. Okay, the answer here, he says, I don't think scientists create them soon. Also a prediction. Okay, but here you have, they won't be able to, this is about the future, but means they, they're capable, they cannot manage to create them very soon. Anyway, they... He's also predicting, but what does it mean here? Here, he says, they will be too dangerous. This is what he thinks, the future. If they create cars, it will be too dangerous. Yeah, people, people what? Also, prediction in the future. Do you think they're capable of, or is it, uh, for example, must, or is it only just future prediction, people? Prediction, yes, people will drive them. And there, he's also predicting the future. He says, be accidents all the time. So what do you think? Is it must, the meaning? Or is it, for example, able to, or just the future for the prediction? Yes, it's for the future prediction. Um, okay, again, the first exercise or the, the exercise for grammar. The first word, uh, one, A, won't be able to. 
2, uh, which is still uh, 1B, will have 2. 3, it's also in A, won't be able to. 4, will. Okay, number 2, uh, A and B, won't, the negative. B, will be able to. Also B, second space, will. A, we have B, will. And the second uh, space also in B, well. Now, um, before we go uh, to the speaking, because we're going to make prediction, I want you to uh, revise just for a second with me. When we make prediction again, you are going to say something about the future, what you think will happen in the future. If you are giving me a, a, a like affirmative sentence using well, it means you're saying it will happen. If you say won't or will not, it means you are negating, you're giving me the negative. This is something that you think will not happen or will never happen. We will never see that. Now, if you, for example, uh, tr use will have to, it's also, um, you're, you're giving me your, um, you're me giving me that meaning that you must do it, something that you have to do it. And have to is a clue for you. Okay, you can use that to, to, to choose. When you say, I will be able to, it means I will manage. I can do that thing in the future. Okay, so it's not maybe because I'm just reading, and doing the exercises with you. If you um, want to have more information, if you want to make sure that you have all the information, you can go to the... Grammar, gra grammar reference page 88. You can also have the more exercises in the round, roundup. And you also have exercises in the workbook. I don't want to give you any homework. I'm just saying if you want more exercise, if you want to test your ability of that choice, can you choose? Can you correct? Uh, did you understand most of the choices? Um, you want to test yourself? You can go to your exercises um, in the roundup in your book. Okay, now these are the answers uh, again. I'm just giving, going to give it like three seconds. If you want to take a photograph or to pause it for a second so we can take the answers before we move to the speaking part. Okay, moving on. I like this one. I like it, but I feel like I need you to be present so I will uh, activate it more but uh, let's try that to, ha to imagine your answers to speaking talking pairs two people together make predictions about the future and they say talk about they gave you like four, four not choices but they gave you like like um, ideas if you want to discuss the future you can talk about these ideas for example if you want to talk about your future with someone, you are going to predict. This is what you think your future is going to be. Uh, you can talk about your area, neighborhood, like your uh, city or uh, the, the place that you live in. You can talk about technology, transport, your own future, like your family, job, etc. Uh, they also give you a line as a guideline, you can say, I think there won't be any parks in the neighborhood in the future. I also added, there won't be, if you say, if you predict that in the future this will never happen. If you want to say, no, something is going to happen, you can say, there will be. I just wrote both of them for you. And you can uh, end, uh, end the sentence with, in the future. Let's make the predictions together. I want, I'm, I'm going to try to make it as, um, as fun as possible, okay, before we end. And I want it to be as, uh, I want to be, uh, you know, I don't want to be negative. I want to be optimistic. Let's talk about happy things that will happen in the future. Let's talk about the area. Uh, we will have um, huge spaces in our area for walking. Uh, we will have uh, 
uh, huge uh, parks to walk in, for example. Technology, we can say, we will have, you, you know that hologram, now technology is, is, is developing very fast. You can say, now we can, I, I, I can't say now we talk to our friends using the phone because we do that now. But let's just have like uh, a prediction. Uh, you will have someone in your living room. You can talk to your friends in your living room, like the hologram. She, your friend can be in front of you, she can talk to you. That can be a good thing. Instead of visiting her and going there, she can be in front of you and you can talk to each other. This, is no, this will be fun. Uh, tra transport. We will have flying cars. I still believe that, but <laughs> let's hope that we have the nice, like we have nice technology or people are going to drive, let's say, safer. But uh, I wish that we have flying cars, safe flying cars. Uh, we can have like, uh, let's say, digital homes and smart homes. Uh, I don't, I'm not saying that we don't trust uh, technology. T technology sometimes fails you, so you have to have like plan B. So I wish that we have smart homes, but I always have to have keys. So I can go inside my house if the system shuts down. So. It's, it's safer. Uh, your future, your family. You can say, I am going to be married. I'm going to have four kids. I'm going to be a doctor. I'm going to be a scientist. I am going to be um, a teacher. I'm going to be, let's say, you know, a pilot. You can choose your own future. Um, let's talk about our future. We're going to have, for me, uh, we're going to have great things happening in our society. We're going to have technology is going to be advanced, inshallah. Education is going to be better. Now we're, we're using technology for t to teach you now. It's just the first, like let's say, first steps, inshallah. In the future will be, be much better and you will have uh, we, we will be able to communicate with you. Maybe we'll have the technology that will enable me to see you there and talk to you. So when I ask you, I can actually receive your replies and, you know, your comments, hopefully, inshallah, um, in the future. Um, I was thinking about also clean environment. Let's say in the future we will not have pollution. We will not have, for example, war. We will not have, won't have, for example, any kind of poverty. Uh, we will find cures for diseases. Uh, we can have, we will, we will, let's say, find cure for diseases. We will have uh, more hospitals, um, let's say more schools, more books, more uh, discoveries, like scientific discoveries. Uh, I have a lot of prediction. I'm not, I'm just trying to think about the future. Technically, I'm living my future now, so I'm not t going to talk about my, like, job but I'm saying let's hope for the best let's think about our future in the best way and inshallah our future will be a bright future with many um, positive let's say um, many positive ideas and many positive uh, let's say thoughts and you always think about that we don't um, we don't think about like bad things or negative things or negative parts, we think, inshallah, that the future will be better than now. Okay? So you can write down using the future tense, will or won't. If you don't think it will happen, you can use there won't be. If you think it will happen, you can say it will be. Uh, in the future, of course. Here they talked about the neighborhood. You can talk about the neighborhood, you can talk about your area, you can talk about your room, your personal goals. Like um, for you, you can set your goals and say, I will do this. I won't be able to do that. I will have a home, I will have a house, I will have 10 million reals, I will, whatever you want. Think high, always think about your future in the best way. Uh, I think that's um, the end of our lesson. Uh, I'm, uh, if you, as I said, if you have any questions about the grammar part, go back to the references, the grammar references, page 88, and also go to the roundup and the workbook. Um, we're going to continue in this module. We're going to talk about the future as well next time, but for now, this is what we took. Thank you so much. Thank you.